hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video we are going to learn about how we can install the salesforce data loader tool for our windows system and if you are new to our channel then please subscribe and if you are new to our channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos so first let's see what is data loader and why is it essential for our salesforce environment so whether you are experienced or just starting with the salesforce Data Loader is an essential tool for importing, exporting and managing data in bulk amount. It is basically a client application that is supposed to be installed on your system to perform the operations like bulk import, export, update or delete. And this tool is particularly useful when you are handling the large data sets. And when we perform the import or insert operation with the help of Data Loader, then for that we prepare a CSV file and the data loader read the csc file and then import those records in the salesforce environment when exporting the data it will give the data in the form of csv file so let's move ahead to the installation process so first let's see what are the steps that we will take to install the data loader so first we need to install the java runtime environment and after that we will install the salesforce data loader tool and after that we will log in and launch the salesforce data loader setup so as of now i logged into my salesforce developer console and and on the setup page of salesforce lightning we have to go to the quick find box and here search and select for data loader and then select the data loader and in the setup of data loader we have to click on the downloads option and now for the redirection we have to click on this confirm button and now in this window click on the button download the latest release for windows and ios so as we click on this link the data loader installation will start now we will see the installation of java runtime environment and after this go back to the previous window and uh, here click on the user guide and again here click on the confirm button and in this window we have to search the installation process of data loader so here it is install data loader so click on this link and here you when you scroll down you can see this azulu documentation that is the java runtime environment so here i will click on it so in this window scroll down and click on the down, download drop down of the latest version of azure zulu for windows and in the drop down select the dot msi version so here it is you can see this version is for windows and in the download drop down i am selecting the option dot msi so now we will first launch the java runtime environment for that we will open the installation folder of the java runtime environment installation file and here we will click on the next button and here you can set the path of the java runtime environment according to your requirement or where you want to set the path and after this you have to click on next button and at last click on this install button so it might take a couple of minutes to install the java runtime environment setup and as you can see the installation process is finished so here we have to click on the finish button so now we will go back to the file where we have installed the salesforce data loader setup so here from the so here from the downloaded location we have to unzip the file that is in the bundle of data loader setup so first we will unzip the files and after that we have to run it and after that we have to run this install that bat file so now the system is checking whether the java runtime environment is installed or not and here in this step we have to click on the yes button and it is asking us to create a shortcut that means you want to create a shortcut for the desktop so here i want to create a shortcut so here i will type the yes and it is ask, also asking to create a start menu so here you can also select yes or no according to your requirement here i am selecting yes the data loader is installed and launched in our system and to perform any operations like insert update upsert or delete you have to simply click on this button and when we click on this any of the button it will ask you for the uh, login and there are two options to login that either you can log in with your production environment or second option is login with the password authentication here i am showing you how to log with the authentication so here you have to click on so now it will take you to the salesforce developer environment that you have created and here we have to enter the connect button and to allow the access to the data loader we have to click on allow button and at last click on the continue button so as of now the access is provided to the data loader so we again we will open the data loader tool and you can see these are this is the second step to insert the records with the help of data loader 
So this is how you can install the data loader in your system and perform the data operations like insert, update, upsert, delete, undelete, export and export all. And also I will mention a video link in the description where I have mentioned how you can perform the bulk data operation like insert, update and delete using the Salesforce data loader tool. So this was all about the installation of Salesforce data loader tool. And I hope that you like this video then please do like, share and subscribe us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.